What is the Remote Configuration Tool? It's a useful tool that allows you to configure quickly multiple TPA400 devices running IP speaker firmware. In those situations and installations where you have hundreds of devices, for example, this tool will save a lot of time for the configuration of the devices. Being a user of IP speaker, you probably know that you can set uh, different parameters on the device, including uh, IP address, master volume, sonic IP and sonic IP volume, the possibility to enable or disable HTTPS access to the web interface, and the possibility to make the device acting like a DHCP client or assigning a static IP address. Beside the configuration settings that we just saw, it's possible to have multiple levels of priority where each priority level is assigned to a specific source. The types available are the ones listed here and it's not in the scope of this video to explain each one of them. But the concept for the remote configuration tool is to have the configuration applied to one device and having the possibility to easily replicate the same configuration on multiple devices. Multiple devices that can be devices part of the same zone of the device where I'm setting up the configuration or all the devices. I can do this quite easily with the push button. Clicking on the push button, a dialog opens up that allows the user to decide either to push the configuration from the device I selected to all the devices or only to the devices of the same zone. In this example, we have different zones created. Lobby, pub, restaurant. It's possible to create as many zones as desired just by clicking on the plus button and adding the zone. Once the zone is created, it is available in the drop-down menu and I can start assigning devices to it. It is possible from the remote configuration tool to assign a specific name to each device. This will be the name displayed in the remote configuration tool and on the header of the software. A useful information on the top of the list tells us how many devices have been discovered. The discovery process and mechanism uses the Avahi service, so make sure that in the settings tab, Avahi is set to on. By default, Avahi is always set to on, starting from firmware version 2.6.0. Our information reported on the remote configuration tool are the audio files. Here we can have at a quick glance the total number of files uploaded into a device. In our case, we have only one device that is running seven files. Files can be uploaded from the dedicated tab, which is called audio files. In the system column, we have all the information about each IP former installed. In the control column, we have individual save buttons when I change anything in the configuration, this button blinks. For example, if I change the name, the button blinks telling me that I have to save the new configuration. If I don't save, or I can cancel changes, the new configuration is not applied and I can restore back what I was doing before. Always in the control column, we have the test tone. This is a useful sound test that allows me to quickly identify where this speaker is installed or even to check if the speaker is working properly. It will play a 5 seconds uh, 1 kHz tone. The last button allows me to open the web user interface uh, of this specific device. The copy and insert function. If I want to copy a configuration to another single device and not to multiple devices at once, I can use the copy and insert function. Clicking on copy, you noticed that all the other devices became insert. I can insert this configuration into any other device. Once done, I can save all 
Every time I click on Save All, the device will rescan the network and will check again for all IP former devices. It might be that uh, when the configuration is applied, you need to read all again in order to have all your devices listed. Clicking on Cancel is possible to exit from the Copy and Insert function. A useful functionality is also the Filter function. This allows the user to filter devices by many different parameters, for example, by their names, by the zone name, this way I can list only devices pertaining to a specific zone, by their IP address, or by their MAC address. In the same page of the remote configuration tool is available a help section that describes very well all the functionalities of the tool itself. For any other question, don't hesitate to contact support at barricks.com.